Hello there. If you played before with you and animate, you find it's a very interesting animation model to use with Comfy UI. And uh, they have an update new ones called Animate X. And if we look before we look how it's work, let's go over some of the white papers. And you can see right here from abstracts and everything how the updated model. Uh, power of these animations, what is, stands out from other ones, it is you can load it a video file with animations. For example, you you know dancing, have it fun, take an image, put it image, and it will take motion from the video file and apply it and will animate a still image. Work very nice, smooth. It's have some minuses, have some pluses. I won't show you in this video how to install, what pluses, what minuses, what problems are run into, and hopefully you'll make decision if it's tool you want to use it or not okay so in white papers right here we have the framework the simple explanation notice they do utilize control net the motion positions they also have a very nice examples you know with a, for example right here image this is the from video motion extraction motions and applied to the image itself so right here the Elon Musk dancing. You can you can see it's kind of fun, interesting things to do. So what I found out how uh, best way to work with this it is if you have it your Comfy UI running. And by the way, um, we will use the Comfy UI and we'll use it uh, Comfy UI Manager. If you don't have it installed either of them or you need it, please check my videos uh, previously. Everything about Comfy UI where I went step by step how to do this. So assuming at this point you install everything, I found the easiest way to do is actually just take workflow, drag and drop on your Comfy UI when it's working. And you can find a workflow if we're going to um, Comfy UI Animation W. I'll give you a link down below. Just go down here to the new workflows, go inside. And I'm using this one, Animate X Long versus Animate Just. So you can actually use either of those. Actually, this one probably it's what we're looking on. Um, I did modify small modifications based on nice uh, feedback from community people who done, and it's very good tips. Just keep it in tag. Just if you need it, go right here, and you can always go to um, issues or actions and just see what people said. But anyway, so right there you have it. Your uh, workflow download it. And when you put it in, you'll have it opening something like this. Few changes will be here. Majority you won't see resize. I will explain what it is, how to get, and why we're going to use. And some few connections we added additionally. But rest, it should be exactly the same. You will have it main where you loaded your image and your uh, animations right here. Where is the coding? And you'll have it two files. You don't need it for the work, but it's nice to compare all the warm one. Anime, Uni Animate and Animate X, and you can compare two animations and see how they either work of them. Okay, but when you're going first, you take workflow, drag and drop here. It's come up and for me was two red things. Okay, two, well, red boxes, all was red box and it's missing two uh, custom nodes need to be installed. And Easiest way to install, we go in manager and we can click install missing custom nodes. Mine is already installed, so wasn't showing you. For you, if you have it, it will show some of them. Just click no more than two usually nodes and will be there. You just click install, restart your server, and it should be ready to go. You can also do before workflow if you want it. You can go here in custom and just type and search for specific name for this custom nodes and install this way, which is work as well. Okay, after you restart, we're not yet ready because it will create directory. And if we look right here, it will going in uh, custom nodes and in custom nodes will create custom unanimate and maybe create some other ones. But this is what we're going to use. And uh, what we need to do, we actually need to put it inside the checkpoints here in this folder. We need to put it this five. It will be five or six. Um, it should be five. We need to put it models inside here. This is first things what I don't like it. I really don't like when uh, position of these models depend on installation lock uh, in custom nodes specifically on checkpoints. 
I understand why they're done because it's nice to keep it in one place. But in my case, um, you can notice I have it multiple different installations of the Comfy UI and I have it central place where the model resides. So I don't need to recopy from everyone. I just point to this central repositories. But in this case, um, I need kind of create the extra um, path and other stuff. Anyway, it's more work. And besides other things, what I don't kind of like it, it is, if you notice here, it is a checkpoint, which is actually a pickled one. And it's having some problems inside. I'll show you in a second. And they're not dangerous, but it is some problems. So they're not really safe tensor. So it's a problem there. And we have Onyx, we have the binary. It's just like a mix in Python. And this is kind of eh, make me not very happy about this. Um, the guys did a great job. Don't take me wrong. The guys did a great job. But to me, it feels like it's almost um, does not separation. So it's like everything just uh, pile in one big place okay but again i'm just it's cosmetics it's functional it's working and how i say the developers did very very good job to make it working so just keep this in mind um next what where we need to take it a link down below you can go to this enemy and right here you just downloaded five files one two three four five you download this and put them in that directory so it will access. You do need it, all of them files because if you don't upload it, you'll start having some problems there appear. Okay, so after you're done install nodes, you uploaded checkpoints, you're now actually ready to do. Okay, let me show here. The one thing I found sometimes um, some videos wasn't processed properly, but it's not related to them. It's more with the coding when you load it specifically video. But generally, you have it your image, one uh, that you want to animate load here. You have it your animations, put it inside your load video. Inside the load video, if you notice right here, we have it also frame load cop. It's how many frames we want to read. I just put it 50 right here. Other things I do like with this specific node format, you can see we used animate diff, but you also can use for other your projects in, you can connect to Cosmo. And I, I mean, this is actually a very nice node, just general to use. Um, next from our image, and you'll notice we also have this, um, you animate node align create poses. We have the reference image coming and video, and it's from there we'll create the reference image and pause sequence. Also, this is not in yours, it's a resize image. It was just added here so the input of image can keep it same proportions because it may change it. And uh, just general resize and change proportion of our image. And we have uh, two other zones right here, one with older model, you animate and leave it newer one, animate X. So you can compare. You don't need to use both at the same time because uh, this you can just uh, take and delete you and animate and use it just animate X. So right here you can see we have an input from our reference image, reference pause from here. We have it our pause sequence. So it's all coming from this enemy. We also have it max frame. Max frame, if you notice, going from frame count, which is represented by 50. And instead typing inside here, we just connect it, uh, use a drag and connect to this node. So they all will be equal using same 50 frames. Um, next from this, we have it steps here, frames interval, resolution on the X. We connecting to video combine. So this is combiner. When frames is generated, it's take a frames and put it them in uh, animations and uh, this is actually another very good node you can use if you need it for your other project i do like it because you can see we have it input image audio meta yeah, if you need it but here we have it how many frames per second currently eight frames per second we can combine if you want loop count on this we also have a file name format this is nice right now it's h264 and p4 you can go even switch to 265 which optimize more for 4k video so we can have it upscale images and you can even right here you know on output we can take these images run through the upscaler and after combine used with this node so you don't um, lock yourself just in that specific resolution you can recapture right here and work with this afterwards okay 
And of course, we have it on the bottom. Uh, by default, will be false. You want to enable save output. If you want to take these animations in save, and it will save, uh, strangely, not inside their own output kind of folder right here where we have it in the node, it seems like, but it will go in our generic output, which is I'm good with this. And right here, you can see I generate some animations already here um, in this format, so you can preview. Okay, general, now let's go look uh, about um, how that was created. It's not bad, it took a little bit time um, to create. And I think, let me right here look on this time, you can see it took two minutes, 50 seconds for that animation, 50 frames to perform on RTX 3090 video card with 24 gigabyte VRAM. Um, so it, it's not bad. If you create a bigger image, I created before, it took about 15, 400, it took about 15, I think, minutes and 18 minutes for 150 uh, frames. It's when I did a little bit more. So general, it's uh, very nice, uh, small applications. I see very good use if you want to create very short, funny animations based on your motions, like for TikTok, shorts, or other things. Um, I think as the video generation, I think when I perform a little bit better on Cassista, I found here was some problems like fingers, hands, and other things uh, in a test where I was done. But general, it, it's very nice instant way to do it i do like how nodes optimize and clean here they did a very very good job on the actually interfacing and how they work well other things i had problem um but it's not related to this it's generic it's with a pytorch and other things which i will make video about to help troubleshooting and installed when you have a problem so hopefully it will save you time as well well thank you for watching this video if you like it like, subscribe, share. Thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.